Hey friends, welcome back to Stacy Makes. I am Stacy, obviously, and I own a small crochet business called Apple Tree Boutique, um, or Apple Tree underscore Stacy Makes is which, where you can find me on Instagram and um, TikTok. So um, I am wanting to just go over, like, you know, I did my intro last week on what my channel was going to be about, and a few things okay so if you watched last week's video you might have noticed that I said I had a market in two weeks so that was a lie I had three weeks and which is awesome news for me who apparently doesn't know how to read a calendar so I have three weeks now I have two weeks two weeks from yesterday um, until our market um it's probably a good thing though that I planned to try to make all of the inventory I wanted to make which was $500 in the two-week period because a lot of times the last week is spent um, price tagging, packing up everything, making sure I have what I need, putting keychains on things, packing mystery boxes, things like that. So anyway, so I have two weeks, well just one day shy of two weeks now, and so I'm going to go over my original market plan and then I'm going to go over um, if I hit my goal this last week, which was $250 worth of inventory, and if I made those things in the categories that I actually needed. So surprise, I probably didn't, so welcome. Okay, so my market plan is very simple. If you didn't watch last week's video, I like to just keep it simple. I have categories like minis, smalls, mediums, larges, and then a few jumbo showstopper -like type pieces. So like a mini to me is five to seven dollars a small is eight to twelve a medium is fifteen to twenty four dollars a large is twenty five plus and then i have kind of a couple jumbo forty plus dollar things that are like i don't really know that i'll sell them but they're there to kind of draw in a crowd so i needed mostly mediums and i needed snugglers i also had a snuggler category sorry um, i wanted to add snugglers into my inventory this year um, trying to lean on that baby expectant mom crowd, new grandparent crowd, things like that because that never goes out of season. So let's, so let's talk about how I did. My goal was $500 more of inventory, $250 in this last week. And let's just talk about what I made. So um, first off, let's start with the mini, mini stuff that I made. So if you watched last week's video you also know or if you watch my shorts you know that I crochet on my lunch break at work I work a full-time job I sit in my office and I crochet a small thing I eat fast and I take 15 to 30 minutes and I crochet it's just a little bit of a therapy especially on days when I have something in the evening and I know that I'm not gonna get anything done it's just like a little break for my mind to just decompress and just you know enjoy a little crafting so let me talk about what I made this week on my lunch break. So I made, so I make chicken nuggets. I added faces to these. If you saw my short, they didn't have faces. I don't take my yarn with me to embroider faces. So these are the chicken nuggets that I make. Excuse any of the fuzzies. I'll clean them up. So I like to make them in different um, face shapes, angry, sad, happy, kind of derpy ones or whatever. So I already had, I think five or six of these. And so these are just three more to add to my category. And these go in the mini category they're the only things I made this week that that fall in that five to seven dollar range I sell these for six dollars but really the five to ten to twelve dollar range is just really popular we want to have an abundance of that so if I went over my goal that's great and um, I'll just keep making them so other things I made on my lunch break include um, this squid it's right at the top of my small range at twelve dollars that's what I'll sell the squids for I also made this mini jellyfish which I just love um, this is a pattern by Meg's Makes Crochet. I make it just like it says, except for I add an extra single crochet increase to the end to make them loop just a little bit more. Cute. And this may go into a mystery plushie box. So I make, I can show them to you later. I make mystery plushie boxes out of little Chinese takeout containers, like food containers. And then I have a sticker that kind of seals them closed and I wrap them in, um, wrap them in tissue paper inside of there and they're an eight dollar mystery plushie they have no idea what's going to be inside so that'll be something new i'm taking to the markets i have them at the antique mall booth and they do really they do well there i've only put four in there and i've sold three so i, I stocked back up last week and we'll see how they do so little mini jellyfish 
So into stuff that I made at home, um, I did back in, oh, so I do have four mini things. Sorry, I, this little mini tumbler falls in the mini range as well. No, small range, sorry, this is small range. Small is eight to 12, because I sell them for eight. And I still need to add a, um, a, ball, in, a ball chain and a backpack clippy, which they can take off um, if they want to. This is my own little pattern I just made up. So um, thinking about maybe doing a tutorial on how to make them if you're interested, just let me know down in the comments and we'll see if we get enough interest to make that worth my time. But it's just a little bitty mini tumbler, $8. Okay, um, so another thing I did this week was I did a pattern test. Um, this was for cofire.co co and LM's art, I think is what it is. If I'm wrong or whether I'm wrong or right, I'll try to put it on the screen so you guys can see what it is. So it's a little no so baby um, turtle. You do make the head and sew it into the round like a standard turtle. So, um, but the there's bobbles and a little tail and I think they're gonna plan on releasing this as a free pattern on their Instagram so I'll put that link down below but I made three of those and I plan on selling them for eight dollars okay something new I tried out this week because everybody was trying it out and I have FOMO and I needed to go find out and I needed these were cute and they just looked like they were pretty easy and mindless to crochet and that is the baby butterfly fish from Stitch Sister Co and so this is just, this is the baby version. There's a Bellamy and baby butterfly fish, I believe is what the actual pattern is for a really big one too. And I don't know if I'll ever make the great big one, but um, I just love this pattern. I've only had a chance to make two tails. It's just really cute. I plan on selling these. I've not taken these to a market before, obviously, but I plan on selling them for $10 a piece. So, okay. Um, if you are on my Instagram or on my TikTok or here, anywhere, you know that I worked on a, I have a new pattern that came out this last week. It released, it's called Finn the Frog, the tag along for the pattern release. And so I have three fins. I plan on selling Finn for, oh, I have myself a note over here. Sorry. Fins are going to be 10. And I made a little pink one. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Um, so they're flat bottom friends. They have a little flat bottom on them so they can sit on a desk they also um, have like a loop right there so like my son hangs his on his straw on his tumbler cup cute you could put a, a clip through there and hang it anyway it's a really quick make it is no so you do make the the eyes and then join them and then sew all the way down everything else is no so it's really it's really quick so um, we'll see how these do at the market obviously I've not taken them before because I just designed the pattern and I just made them so we'll see how they do so these are my fins Okay, to go along with Finn, who is a tag-along friend, you can take him anywhere. He gets goes on adventures, and he's flat-bottomed. I am working on the next part of the collection. So the next friend in the collection is going to be a monkey. So because monkeys have long arms and can hang on things, I think is kind of where the idea that it needed to be a monkey came from. But um, let me tell you, making a monkey no so small flat bottomed <laughs> and making it look like a monkey it's not easy um obviously I've, I've never made a tiny monkey anything of the size that had any resemblance to a monkey i've only made a few larger monkeys which were um, even intricate in themselves so let me show you the progression of let me show you the things i some of them i didn't do okay so here's monkey here's one of them um he's i'll go ahead and take him to a market and see if somebody loves him but um, this one is a no. This is not the final pattern. Um, there's this one. This one was also a no, not the final pattern. Didn't like the way that the color changes were coming around his eyes. Um, so this was not final either, but that's two. Um, this one, very close to what I wanted, but still not great. I wanted the ears bigger. So he got, he was close. Okay, and then here, right here, is my last attempt, and I think pretty, almost final. Um, I may or may not change a few things about him. Um, he's so adorable. Um, his ears are just chilling out there, his little tail. And then he too can be hung from a tumbler, um, from a backpack, anywhere you want. And 
he can hang out with Finn. So him and Finn can be best friends. So I made four of these monkeys in the mix of making monkey patterns this week. And they'll go in my small category as well. And I'll sell them even if they're my pattern rejects because kids aren't going to know. Okay. So let's get into some of the bigger stuff. Uh, I want one more thing. I'm not selling these dudes, but I'm trying to, working on a easy, quick dinosaur that doesn't just look like a blob. And I didn't do a very good job. So I'm still working on these. I think I'm getting closer with this one. Uh, maybe um, he still needs work. So just FYI, I'm working on that. But I don't think I'll sell these just because they really don't resemble as much of a dinosaur as I would like them to. There's things I like about both of them, but anyway. If you um, watch my, or are part of my Instagram, you know that I love Madeline Mako's patterns. Um, she's probably where I, she's where I go to for my medium sized 15 to $24 stuff in her teeny um, animals. So this is a, the teeny lamb, and I just decided to make it in um, pink, and then the bloom chenille. Actually, this is um, the Sweet Snuggles floral. I'm trying to think what that's called right now, but this is Sweet Snuggles and Sweet Snuggles light, actually. So this little lamby, I've made him three times or so. So here is the small version. You can see the mini and the small together. There's quite a bit of difference in the size. But um, this is the snow cone um, Premier yarn. And I think it's charcoal. And this is Premier Basics and um, Burnett Blanket actually in the vanilla color. Okay, last but not least of stuff that I made this week. Back to Madeline Mako. I love her pattern. She just came out with some new sitting, I'm going to butcher this, I just know it, sitting bellies edition. I'll have to look it up. I'll, obviously, I'll put it on the screen somewhere for you. And she has a frog named Finley. 
I didn't even know that she had a frog named Finley. I named my pattern Finn, by the way. But anyway, so I got into Finley last night. And I don't know why, if it was just... I don't know what it was. My intention was to make something in the medium category. So I grabbed one of Madeline Mako's patterns and I thought, let's get going. Well, without even really thinking about it or looking at how many rounds this pattern was, I, um, this is not a mini. This is not a teeny baby or a small baby. <clears throat> Finley the frog will end up being one of my jumbo 40 plus dollar plushies um, because he's big and he took I'll, he took more than half a skein of burnout blanket and he took me uh, right at two hours. So here he is. Um, hopefully you can see him. He's supposed to be a sitting frog. He's adorable. His little legs and arms. Oh my gosh, they're just adorable. Anyway, so this is Burnett's, I think it's Emerald or um, Emerald C or something, I think it's this green. Uh, it's really pretty. This is the first time I bought this color from Burnout Blanket, but it's a really pretty green. Um, let's see his eyes. If you can, if it'll focus on them there for a second. They kind of a glittery star pattern in them. They came from AliExpress. And he's wearing it mostly my specialty eyes from. So I think Finley's gonna end up being $45. Um, he took me right at, like I said, two hours. Um, and he's pretty big um, if you see him compared to the teeny lamb <laughs> okay <laughs> that's a nice comparison or how about my mini tumbler I mean my yeah that's pretty he's pretty but he might be about the same size as the smuggler yeah just about but there's you know because the legs are so long and lean and the arms are so long and lean there are lots of rows here, and that's really what takes time. And it's not complicated. Her patterns are so easy to follow and so easy to do. And um, anyway, I just love Finley. He's cute. He's going in the jumbo range for sure. So, okay. So that's the last thing I made this week. Um, I will go over what I ended up with was one jumbo, one large category um, item. I ended up with two mediums even though that's where I needed most of my stuff I only ended up with two I ended up with 15 smalls this week which is the 8 to 12 dollar range and I ended up with two three minis which is my five to seven dollar range and only two snugglers so um, I think this coming week um, obviously I'll keep on the minis and the smalls because that's what um, those sell you can never have enough of those and that's what I do on my lunch breaks but hopefully this week I'll get a chance to crank out a couple more snugglers. I just have to do things in between because of the, the large hook and stuff. Again, I can't just sit and use the bigger yarn and the bigger hook <clears throat> as much um, without making it kind of hurt my, my wrist some. And you don't want to cause yourself pain. So I want it to enjoy it and I don't want to, you know, cause an injury or anything. So taking breaks, stretching my hands, knowing that I can't <laughs> do that many large things in a week because it does hurt my hands some. So, market is now 13 days away um that sorry i told you total how much um how the numbers of how many things i made this week let's see it's four six seven eight nine i made 24 things this week and i i hit 313 dollars worth of inventory so i hit my goal went over it a little bit um which i'm excited about um and I hope I can do it again this week. So I'll, I'll just try to keep doing two to 250 a week, knowing that the last week's gonna be spent doing a lot of pricing stuff. So I have a few new mark, little market table um, pieces I bought off of Amazon that I wanna get out and kind of like figure out how I'm going to set or what I'm gonna set on these things. So I'm gonna just reset here and I will be back in just a second for you guys with a little bit of a video of of those new pieces for my market setup. So this shelf is 
is skinny. So these are, um, I, I like it. It's a riser, obviously it's a riser shelf. Um, the, but the shelves are very skinny and very close together. So I was thinking um, like the little octos would go on this shelf and then um, maybe tiny wheels. Instead of having them in like five dollar bins, little baby turtles. Okay, also too big for this. So this is gonna end up being octos and whales and maybe axolotls, it looks like. So there's one shelf that I got that I okay, and then this one is the one you just only put together, which struggled way too much. Um and I really thought that this would be a shelf where I could just take it flat and put it together when I got there, but it is um, going to be way too noisy to try to put it all together. And then this one has, I only bought the corner, but this one has the options for straights, more straights and things and corners to add so that you can make like a whole display on your table. Um, so I was thinking this one, I measured, you know, I, obviously I, I looked at the dimensions and thought this one would be more of, um, these shelves are a little taller and a little deeper. I was kind of hoping that like maybe my bees would sit on this shelf, maybe also my squid. Um, these are obviously a lot bigger than that squid. That one's posh and that one's brunette. Uh, maybe even this side go octo. Um, ooh, I like those there. I don't think I like the squid so much, but, or even the bees. I have, um, up the shelf I use for the bees, so I'll probably just continue to do that and put them in there. So Octos, the bigger ones, so cute. And then I was thinking um, fins and maybe the fish. So like if I can get them to stand up and if I can get the little, maybe the fin leaves or the fins could even go here. Ooh, those are cute there. Tiny turtles. Sorry, I'm digging in my baskets. Tiny turtles. Fins. I don't like these there. Okay, friends, um, I think that is it for this week. So we went over my inventory plan, how I did on all of my makes this week. I hit my goal, not necessarily in the categories I wanted, but I made what I wanted to make and I still had fun. So that was really the point. Um, and then worked a little bit on this market setup, how I'm gonna utilize these new shelves. And I think that's it for this week. So um, next week will be more of what I made. Um, maybe the new pattern tester call or release of the new monkey. I don't know um, We'll see what this where this week takes us and I really appreciate you being here. So um, if you are new to my channel, please like subscribe um, Comment below if you made it all the way to the end um, And remember what this little guy's name is. I would love that um, I'll put a little frog emoji or something just, just to let me know that you were here and um, Make comments on what you want to see more of on this channel. Um, we will be videoing our market um, setup. Me and my daughter do those markets together. She's Old Soul Factory Crochet on YouTube. And so we'll video our setup. We have a smaller than normal space, so we may or may not try to get together and do a little bit of a mock setup beforehand just to kind of figure out exactly what our plan is. And um, I really appreciate you making it all the way to the end of this video and um, like subscribe comment below and happy crocheting
Thank you.